Hi, welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today we will be looking at moss farms. This video will be split up into four parts. The first part being the main part of the farm. The second part being the Java compatible stone generator. And then the third section will be the bedrock only stone generator. And the fourth part will be the redstone clock that powers it. Time stamps will be on screen now. You will start off by making a 10 by 6 platform, then placing a chest here with hoppers going into the chest and then hoppers going into those hoppers. Then you will place blocks here and here with fences going across the hoppers uh, and then dispensers going along here. Each one of these dispensers will need to be filled up with bone meal regularly to keep the machine operating. Then you will place some obsidian along here, blocks along here, more dispensers. These ones instead will be filled up with buckets of water, which will never have to be replenished. Then you will place some moss blocks along here. Some blocks on top of these dispensers. Redstone dust on top of those blocks, but not going all the way to the end, just enough to cover and to be on top of those dispensers. And then redstone dust on top of these dispensers. Time to move on to the next segment. So we will start by placing pistons facing up on the edge of this block. Then we will build up from here and place regular pistons facing into the farm. Then place a block there. And then we will place observers facing into the regular pistons. And then observers face, and then observers facing into those observers, and then observers facing into those observers, and then we will place target blocks on top of the regular pistons, and then a block there, stairs. Over here to uh, house the water. Then you will need to place some blocks here. Fill the stairs with water. Then you will place a ring of blocks above the stairs, making a uh, chamber for the lava to sit in. Place the lava in on top. Then place redstone dust here. Make a platform there. And then you will need to get a repeater and set that to uh, three ticks. Four ticks, sorry. Next, we will add a uh, two block platform off of it and then add pistons facing like so. And then uh, blocks surrounding the piston. Oh, needs a block there. And then we will put water within the pistons, which is a bedrock only feature. And then we will surround 
make a uh, chamber for Vidlava. Place for lava evenly through, but it doesn't actually need to be even. And then just place redstone dust like so. So to build the Clark Ock, we will first place a block here, and then several blocks going out here, five of them to be precise. Repeaters, all of them have to be set to four ticks. There should be four of them in this segment. Then we will place another block with a, another repeater set to four ticks. Then we will have a block here with redstone torch here and here. Then we will place another block with a redstone torch on it. And then we will place two blocks down here with comparators on them. And then we will place blocks here and here until you get this formation. Then comparator here and here. Redstone dust here, redstone dust here. Lever as the on and off switch can go here or any side of this block. And then you need to have two hoppers running into each other. Sticky pistons. Like, oh, come on. Like so. Redstone block on top. Click the lever. You will need nine items of anything. So just place nine items in this hopper here and she will work. As soon as you flick off the lever she will start making moss. Once it catches up of course. Thank you all so much for watching. Feel free to subscribe if you want, it is your choice after all, and see you all at some point in another Minecraft video.